Hello Kamatuklas! Welcome back sa isa na namang pagtuklas ng aralin sa mathematics. This presentation will focus on graphical representation of organizing data. With this, we will concentrate with the different types of graph that we can use to represent data. So let's begin. So when we talk of graphical representation, one is what we call the bar graph. Another is the histogram, the frequency polygon, which is popular also as the line graph. So clear tayo na frequency polygon, yan yung tinatawag din na line graph. We have the pie chart, and the last is the ogive. So alamin natin isa-isa at let us have an example with the following graphical representation. Let's start with the bar graph. A bar graph is a graph that is represented by a vertical or horizontal rectangle with the bases representing class interval or categories. With this, pwede rin natin gamitin yung class mark and the height representing frequencies. So, this is an example of bar graph. Consider that we will be talking of the, of the favorite type of movies. So this will be considered as the frequency of those who love drama, then for action, for romance, for horror and suspense, and for comedy. Then we represented this in this manner, which is what we call the vertical bar graph. So this is the vertical bar graph representation of this frequency distribution. On the other hand, pwede rin natin yung i-represent ng horizontal bar graph like this. Okay, you just write it in horizontal manner. So, this represent the frequency. On the other hand, this represent the favorite type of movie. Parang na-interchange lang dun sa bar graph. Next is histogram. A histogram is a graph that is represented by a vertical or horizontal rectangles with class marks or categories at their bases and frequencies at their heights. So when we look at the example, so we'll be talking again of the favorite type of movie and this is the representation of the histogram. Pwede rin siyang uh, pa-vertical but we represent this in a horizontal manner. It's the same way. So, ilalagay din natin dito ang frequency at dito naman yung representation ng types of movie. By color coding yung nilagay natin. So, yung kulay red, ito yung comedy. This orange is horror or suspense. Romance is green. Then, blue for action. And the dark blue is for drama. So, you will notice halos magkahawig ang histogram at bar graph. The only difference is, mapapansin nyo sa histogram, magkakalapit lang talaga siya. Ano, magkadikit ang mga uh, vertical bar graph na in-illustrate natin. The third one is the frequency polygon. A frequency polygon is a line graph na minention ko kanina na ang frequency polygon ay line graph with class mark as the bases and frequencies at the heights like this so we just work on with a line representation of the graph so this point is for drama for action for romance for horror and for comedy the next one is the pie chart a pie chart is a circle graph that shows the proportion of each class as a percentage or as a relative frequency. So, like this. So, sabi nga, it's a circle graph. So, lalagyan ngayon natin ng circle. 
So, yung kulay blue, nagre-represent ng drama. This light blue is for action. This green is for romance. This orange is for horror. And red for comedy. So, you can put percentage in each part. So, sa ating presentation ng constructing pie chart, makikita natin kung ano yung pwedeng idagdag na information with that. The last is the ogive. An ogive is a line graph with the class boundaries as the basis and the height as the less than cumulative frequency for the less than ogive and greater than cumulative frequency for the greater than ogive. So we'll be talking of that like this. So it's the same as a line graph. The only difference is with respect to how you are going to plot the point. So, sa ating presentation ng constructing ogive, mas magiging malinaw sa atin kung paano ang gagawin natin. So, kailangan bantayan nyo o panoorin nyo rin kung paano mag-construct ng iba't ibang graph in organizing data. So, that's all kamato class about the different Graphical representation of organizing data. God bless us.